Bo never knew his parents, and we never had kids. If I didn't stay, if I left, it would be like he never existed. I couldn't pack up and move on. He loved Empire. He loved his work so much. He loved being there. Everybody loved him. So I stayed. Same town, same house. It's like my dad used to say, what's remembered lives. I maybe spent too much of my life just remembering that. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can, I can relate. Um, I, I rarely ever talk about my son, but uh, today would be Today would be his 33rd birthday, and five years ago he took his life. <clears throat> and I can still barely say that in a sentence. And, and for a long time, every day was, uh, <clears throat> the question was, how can I be alive on this earth when he's not? And I didn't have an answer. And those were some hard, hard days. But <clears throat> I realized that I could honor him by uh, helping people and serving people. It gives me a reason to go through the day. <laughs> Some days that's all I've got. And out here, there's a lot of people our age, and inevitably there's grief and loss. And a lot of them don't get over it either. And that's okay. That's okay. One of the things I love most about this life is that there's no final goodbye. You know, I've met hundreds of people out here, and. I don't ever say a final goodbye. I always just say, I'll, I'll see you down the road. And I do. And uh, whether it's a month or a year or sometimes years, I see them again. And I can look down the road and I can be certain in my heart that I'll see my son again. You'll see Bo again. And you can remember your lives together then. <laughs>